Men, you must be careful with whom you procreate with, whom you lay down with. I don't care if you're six foot whatever, <laughs> seven foot whatever. You're just a you're just a target. You're just a means to an end. Just because you think you're this doesn't mean that, like you know. And I'm not trying to diss Kevin Samuels, but you know, but this this term, you know, high value man, you know, nah, just scratch that. High value target. I like it when uh, when Coach Greg Adams said that high high value tar high value target. That's what you are. Um, when you, especially when you're dealing with these broads, is is like their their goal is to get a kid out of you, maybe one or two, break up with you, and get the child support money out of you. It's it's very does the game is very simple. You know what I mean? So it, I'm like I said, it don't matter if you're an average man, you're a rich man. That's the goal. Particularly with most, I'm talking about for the women of today. If you, I'm telling you, if you meet a good woman under the age of, I'm sorry, just from Gen Z. If you're meeting a good woman in, in in Gen Z, I mean, that's that's people talk about a unicorn. I'm saying like just a regular decent woman that won't do that to you. That automatically makes her a top one percent, top point zero zero one percent woman. If she's not gonna put child support on you, if she's not gonna videotape tape you and and try to set you up and set you out to the to the authorities. Most American women have been trained by their mom or the, the government, the powers that may be, is basically to set you out to the to to the to the authorities. That's what they, that's what they've been trained. They haven't been trained to, to cook, clean up nothing. They've been trained to get money out of you via child support and set you out to the government. That's that's what they've been trained to do to set you up. <laughs> but anyways, let's see this video right here. We got NBA G League player RJ Hampton. He has ex heated exchange with the mother of his ki kid on a TikTok video. He talks about talks about bruising he caused by <laughs> putting hands on her. So this dude is trying to he's trying to spend time with his kid, and this bitch puts on the camera. While he's trying to spend time with his kid or exchange, have it have the exchange with the kid. He, he's trying he's trying to have his time with his kid. And this bitch turns on the video trying to indict him. <laughs> trying to get him on video to admit that she, he put bruises on 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 her, even though we already know it was there's much more to the story than that. We already know she's probably outright lying or there's just much more to the story than just regular bruising. Because we already know what the D, the DV statistics they told you seventy percent of DV situations are initiated by women. They don't talk about that part of, of DV, but you know that's that's a whole other story. But anyways, let's look at this video right here. These these couple of clips. It's me because you're. Please, I don't care if you have me on boarding. I could care less. I just don't want to. Well, what I'm afraid of, because of who you are, as me. Like taking him and then like biting me off, and you're like, oh my god, you're used to it. No, I wouldn't do it. First of all, you have laid hands on me before, so you have. I have pictures of it. I know. And you, have, pictures of it. you have pictures of it right here? Yeah, and you text Who's me. Who's gonna care about that? Who's gonna care? There's Who's bruises. gonna care? Bro, there's, there are bruises. Oh, you know, I don't get into that. But they that. came from your hands. Of course they did. Okay. Did I punch you? Did I punch you? Just because you didn't punch me doesn't mean that's okay. Wow. Hey, look at that. Wow. At the end of the day, if you it, like the fact that you can sit here and allow, no, because your child has been traveling since 5 a.m. He's been traveling since 5 a.m. And you're sitting here making him crazy to me because you're. So here she's bas she was basically trying to get him to admit that she he quote unquote abused her. Now, we already know what happened. She was probably out of pocket. He probably grabbed her. And, you know, the, the, the problem is when you put your hands on a woman, just in general, you put your hands on a woman, it's, it might leave a mark just in general because they, they'll just be frantic and then they'll just hit, like, you'll, you'll, you'll touch them and then they'll flail and then they'll hit, <laughs> they'll hit themselves on the fridge or something like that. I, like, this is what, what usually happens or when you, or when a man finally gets fed up while the woman is, like, the woman, I'm talking about the woman who could be, like, railing on the dude physically and the man will, will touch the, the, he will finally touch the woman, and for some reason, it leaves a mark. You know what I mean? It's just they're just not, they're just not. People will just look at just just a mark in and of itself, but they don't even actually look at the whole, the full story. And I'm pretty sure if you look at the full story of this, I'm pretty sure she was the abuser, and he probably because look look I'm because we looking at him. He's I don't know how tall how tall is because them NBA players uh, they be not only are they tall. But they're they're muscular. They have they have density to them. Pause. So they're not. These are not like some small. You know these some 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 these are not like some regular sized dudes. Hold on. R.J. Hampton. Let me see some. 
Okay, yeah, six four. Like, yeah, he looks. First of all, he looks super. He's he looks taller than that in this video. So we already know he's dealing with a broad that's like what five two, five three, <laughs> five four max, right? So when you're dealing with somebody that athletically gifted and that's that fast, if he just all he has to do is he he could he could have brushed into her and it is gonna leave a mark. Or you know, unfortunately, what what happens? And this is why I, t I tell men to I caution men on this. I've seen a lot of stories where. Women will they when when women are having sex with certain men, they will ask them, "Yo, choke me here and do this to me here." And when you do these things, is there is they it will leave a mark. And after these things are done, they will take a picture of these marks and they will save it to their phone. But don't people gonna act like that's crazy? But this this I've I've not only have I seen stories of this, but I've heard stories of this. And I'm talking about I'm, I'm putting anecdotal evidence out there, but I've heard stories of this personally myself and I've seen stories of this. So I tell men, pl please be careful with that whole. Oh, you know, because women because women will be asked, oh, like women will ask for these things to be done to them during sex. But a lot of the times that's a setup. So please, men, be careful <laughs> about that. And that could be the case here, too. You, you guys never know. This women will do stuff like this. But she's talking about some bruising nah. And basically, she while he's trying to spend time with his kid, you take out the video trying to indict him. What? What? Come on! What are you doing? Because <laughs> we already know what this is. If this is a play for more custody, so he can lose custody. Oh, but even though you're such an abuser, I'm going to still need your child support money. We we already know how this. We already know how this is. This she needs to stop. Wander around a hotel. I'm not playing victim. I'm saying no. You went to Miami and you were first of all, your parents kept it. Yeah, my parents. My mom is more of a parent to him than you have ever been. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's not the document that you signed, sir. Wander around the hotel. I'm not playing victim. I'm saying. Sorry, can I, let, let me replay that video one more time. No. You went to Miami and you were your parents kept it. Yeah, my parents, my mom is more of a parent to him than you have ever been. Shut up. Yo, that's funny, though. But like, yeah, a broad can get on your nerves ex exactly like that. You know, I can tell this woman, whoever she is, Tiffany, they say her name is Tiffany Jeffcoat. Um, I'll probably bring up her Instagram profile or her TikTok profile up. Um, <laughs> Jesus, man. Let me see. <laughs> that I'm stranded in Oklahoma with no hotel, no car, RJ literally snatched Halo off the ground, walked out, hopped in the car, and left. Didn't tell me where they were going. Didn't tell me when they were back. Didn't take any of his stuff. He's not allowed to do that. He just traveled. Got up at 5 a.m., took a 13-month-old on the plane. Just had to get off the phone with the police. Um, and I had to describe what my child was wearing, my 13-month-old was wearing. Didn't bring, didn't make sure he had a pacifier. Didn't make sure he had his lovely blankets or anything doesn't know what time he last ate doesn't know what time he last left he's never had him for more than like 30 minutes this just shows how little he cares about his child so now i'm waiting she said that that how does that make if he took his kid and he's keeping it away from you how how is it that he doesn't care about his kid that well actually let, let me just let him <laughs> what for police to get here that i'm stranded Oh, yeah, and also I was seeing a lot of the comments. They were saying um she was white. Well, she actually looks biracial. I'm not trying to give people a way out, but she she looks like a half breed. No disrespect. But <laughs> it is now 7 26 p.m. Um, I've been sitting in the lobby since 2 p.m. And still no room. Halo's still not back. Don't know where he is. Um, I hope he ate dinner. I hope, I mean, poor thing's been up since 5 a.m. His bedtime was an hour ago. So I hope he is back soon because technically his visitation schedule that he does, he's supposed to have access to the child um, is from eight to eight. So I would hope that he does at least abide by that part and bring him back by 8 p.m. So another, like I, I believe if we actually cared about kids and all that she should not have custody of her kids <laughs>
this is a mess. Not only is she a mess maker, she she I'm going to go a step further because you just saw me just like the comment live. She's the abuser right here. We have the comment right here. And I'm happy he picked it up because he says right here, he said he blatantly asked her if he ever slapped or punched her. She refused to answer. I picked that up, too, because he was like, wait, did, didn't you do this to me? Blah, blah, blah. And she refused to answer that. And then right here, he says she may have sustained bruises from being restrained, which happens a lot, which happens. I'm, I'm talking about that happens a lot where a woman will be frantic. She'll be she'll be doing the punching and all this stuff. The man will stop her, meaning she, he'll just grab her or just almost defend himself but like just basically just keep her try to keep her hands down because she's acting crazy and she will sustain a bruises from you just restraining her you know what i mean this happens a lot you know so right here he says she could have been attacking him i'm not sold on him being abusive yeah it's like we already know what she's trying to do anybody with that with some kind of objective eyes sees what she's doing like it's it's pretty clear Seven twenty-six. 33 minutes hopefully and i will have my baby back um i genuinely i like really don't even know what to, i've never in my life experienced anything like this and i pray that nobody else has to so all i have to say is be careful who you have a baby with um yeah because sharing a child that you love with somebody who is literally a horrible person is not for the week 33 minutes yeah like the way i'm looking at her the way her actions are i understand why like now like back in the day it would be like certain broads they go missing <laughs> i used to be like damn that's harsh but like she's causing a mess out of i'm talking about she's she's she's, she's the problem she's clearly the problem she, and not only that i will go as far as to say she's the abuser she's the abuser now because people are going to look at it like well he's got he's six foot four and she's just only five it don't matter She's the abuser. Tr 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 this, this, that's another reason why. That's another thing too. People won't, don't want to talk talk about it, but that's why a lot of the times women will be with so called dangerous looking dudes, or they'll be with you know these dudes, you know these street ninjas, or people that look dangerous to have tattoos and whatnot. Because what happens is they can make themselves look like the victim when that relationship doesn't work out. They'll be like, "Well, look at him," and at uh, first glance, people are just gonna look at him. And they're going to be like, why did you touch this poor, innocent girl? And they're just looking at him and they're just looking at. At her and they're just like, oh, clearly she's the victim. No, 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 no. Because most people are lazy with their investigations. And they're just automatically going to believe the women. Women know this. That's why they do. That's why they do do the things that they do. That's why you, you'll see. That's why you like. They'll, they, that's why I keep telling you, especially when they date like these so-called dangerous looking dudes or whatever. If they say they're in an abusive relationship, you need to investigate that it was it's not what you it's probably not what you think <laughs> i always say that eight times out of ten when situations like that it's really both of them being knuckleheads but at least the man will admit that look i wasn't perfect in, <laughs> in this at least eight times out of ten at least the man will be like i wasn't perfect in this eight, i'll say ten times out of ten oh no, no no that's crazy but i will say out of those situations Nine times out of ten, the woman's gonna be like, "I was a victim." <laughs> every 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 time, it's always gonna be every time she's a, she's a victim. Every time, every time, and that's why they they don't kind of really uh, align themselves with quote unquote good dudes or nice dudes because they need to put themselves. They need to have a a a cushion to where, okay, like let, let me give you an example, right? When we talk about Russell Wilson, remember when Sierra was trying to drop these 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 in the quote unquote independent uh, songs. Right. But even Sierra's own fan base called her out. They're like, no, you can't be making songs like that no more. You with Russell Wilson, you with the good guy. So what happens is when they, they do find a quote unquote good guy there, they don't have a cushion to be like, oh, he was abusive. He was this. If she claims like if Russ, if Sierra is going to claim that Russell Wilson was abusive, people will pause. They'll be like, they won't. They, they'll be like, ah, are you sure? So that's so when they're in a situation like that, they're people expect them to hold up their end of the deal because they found a guy that is responsible or they found a guy that is regular or nice or normal this is why women avoid because if i'm because because now you gotta look at it from a woman's lens okay i can be with this bad boy and just enjoy all the perks zero responsibility and if it goes wrong i can just be like well he was a bad boy and i didn't know no better exactly <laughs> it's, it's the it's it's the it's the it's the it's the roller coaster and then you have somebody controlling the lever of the roller coaster. You have, which is, you know, the government or the simp, the simp, 
police force. You know what I mean? So she has all of that to help. So I say I have to say this. I'm not saying basketball players are bad people, but I'm just saying women will align themselves with people like that because they understand the dynamics of, oh, look at small mini me compared to this uh, Goliath. He did this to me. And then people are going to look at the Goliath, quote unquote, and they're going to be like, yo, what did you do to her? Don't you know she's like half your size? They're going to use that to their advantage. Yeah, so I see a lot because I was a lot, I saw a lot of comments that said, stop dating these Caucasian women. I'm like, guys, there have been so many stories just this year alone of baby mamas going off. Uh, what was the, 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 the guard from the Lakers or the Rockets, whatever? His baby mama doing damn near the same stuff. <laughs> she, I'm talking about like she was so bad that she actually lost <laughs> custody of her kid. I forgot what her name was, but she was black. So like, like I said, this it's not a black or white woman. They are all women take advantage of this, th th these, these things. So I don't know why people are bringing race into this because all women are doing this. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the other comment that I liked. There was, yeah, there was another comment. So somebody told me I'll call a family lawyer. Like she's she, right now. She's 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 just causing mess right now. <laughs> this is this is why, like, as an athlete, you need to really be careful who you choose. You first of all, like, if you're an athlete, you're not really supposed to be choosing a woman in the height of your fame. You're supposed to choose it kind of before, and even then, that's risky. Or after your NBA NBA career is over, I I always say you might as well choose it afterwards. Like the way that Derek Jeter did it, you know what I mean? Just you know, just date, you know, do what you do, but like not put like not have like a serious girlfriend or a wife or a baby mother during that time because that could because that can derail everything that you've been working towards your whole life so yeah hopefully um hopefully he finds a way to get rid of her and just like <laughs> i always say like hey yo man people be, people be thinking i'm messed up for saying this but like yo it's 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 cheaper to hire a hitman <laughs> it's cheaper to hire a hitman because this is just this is just nonsense that's like not needed and or I'll just say this, hopefully he finds a way to gain full custody of the kid because clearly under her tutelage, that kid is not going to, he can't, the, the kid that he has cannot blossom under her. A ab ab there's absolutely no way he can fully uh, prosper into the person that he's supposed to, the man that he's supposed to be. <clears throat>